what's down there in someone's pants is really none of your business unless you're involved in that romance. You see, romances are usually considered something that God delivers to people. And not everyone acknowledges a romance or an opportunity for a partner that God has planned for them. But when it comes to what's down there, I have to tell you, what's down there is only important to the person who owns it and the person who might, well, play with it. But openly I'm being a little bit comical, but I'm also being a little bit serious because if you're already presently married and if you're already presently content and if you are not an adulterer or if you are not someone who's made a mistake in your partner, then openly it's none of your business. But for people who want to understand what happens when you rebalance the hormones on someone who was grown or raised being out of place in their bodies, I have to first tell you that most people know what their genitalia look like or feel like in their hair quality and in how much is down there and openly what is down there and how it looks in color and shape. What we do have in America and running and budding across America are highly immoral people, incredibly illegal physicians who would harm someone's body down there. So what's down there, generally speaking, for someone who is on hormone replacement theory for fixing a mistake that happened in the birth canal down there is usually the small penis becomes a larger penis and then that person is more content because they have more ability to do things as they should and they feel they can in their male soul and openly they can ride roughshod or they can receive some sort of good op but what I'm talking about is really sort of inappropriate don't you think a person's sexuality is totally different than their situation of the privacy of the medical records of their genitalia and the privacy of their body belongs to them individually and the opportunity to share it is based on well social skills and society and openly whether or not the person they've targeted with their love is open to them but generally speaking what I've learned about couples who find each other who are heterosexual who have one partner that has a birth defect or a smaller package is that they are pretty well in love and very content because maybe it makes the little fellow as people like to joke have to work a little harder or maybe it makes the other partner who's the lover have to be a little bit more compassionate but in truth when it comes to human sexuality that's a totally different topic than someone whose body doesn't match their soul